Good morning everyone! This morning, we are going to discuss how to solve quadratic equation using quadratic formula. So, what is quadratic formula? So, let's have for a real numbers A, B, and C with A not equal to 0, the solution of the quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0 is given by the quadratic formula x is equal to negative b plus minus b squared minus 4ac, everything divided by 2a. So let's have the first example. Solve the following using quadratic formula. Example number 1. 2x squared minus 5x plus 2 is equal to 0. So first, we need to identify the value of our a, b, and c. So here, our a is equal to 2, our b is negative 5, and our c is equal to 2. So we will be using the quadratic formula x is equal to negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. So let's substitute the value of a, b, and c in our formula. So x is equal to the negative, what is our b which is negative 5, so that would become negative times negative 5 plus minus the square root of again our b is negative 5 squared minus 4 and our a is 2 and our c is 2 divided by 2 times our a which is 2 now we are going to simplify this so x is equal to a negative times negative that would become positive 5 plus minus so the square root of negative 5 quantity squared that would give us 25 minus 4 2 times 2 is 4 divided by in the denominator 2 times 2 is equal to 4 okay so x is equal to 5 plus minus so inside the radical we have 25 minus what is 4 times 4 it's minus 16 divided by 4 okay x is equal to 5 plus minus and 25 minus 16 is equal to the square root of 9 divided by 4 okay so x is equal to 5 plus minus square root of 9 is equal to 3 over 4 Okay, now we are going to separate this plus and minus. So this would become x is equal to 5 plus 3 over 4. And the other one is x is equal to 5 minus 3 over 4. Now let us simplify each. So x is equal to 5 plus 3, that would give us 8 over 4. And what is 8 over 4? That is 2. On the second, 5 minus 3, that is 2 over 4 and what is 2 over 4 that is equivalent to 1 half so here the roots of our quadratic equation is 2 and 1 half okay let's proceed to our second example x squared minus 2x is equal to 0 so a is equal to 1 b is equal to negative 2 and since we don't have the constant so c is equal to 0 so again our quadratic formula so x is equal to a negative times the negative 2 since our b is negative 2 plus minus the square root of again b it's negative 2 quantity squared minus 4 what is a a is 1 and the constant is 0 divided by 2 times 1 Okay, x is equal to negative times negative 2, that is equivalent to 2. So, plus minus, the square root of negative 2 squared, that would give us positive 4. So, positive 4 minus 4, 1 times 0, of course, it's 0, divided by 2. So, x is equal to 2 plus minus. 
square root of 4. What is 4 times 0? It's 0 divided by 2. Okay, now let's simplify further. x is equal to 2 plus minus 4 minus 0 is square root of 4 divided by 2. So, let's simplify square root of 4. So, that would give us 2 plus minus square root of 4 is equal to 2 over 2. Okay, x, let's separate the plus and the minus, 2 plus 2 over 2, and the other one is 2 minus 2 over 2. Then let's, what is 2 plus 2? That is 4 over 2. And 4 divided by 2, that is x is equal to positive 2. On the other hand, x is equal to 2 minus 2, which is 0 over 2. What is 0 over 2? which is 0. So the two roots of our quadratic equation is positive 2 and 0. Now let's proceed to the third example. x squared plus 4x is equal to 45. Now if you're going to look at our equation in number 3, it's not written in standard form. So we are going to rewrite first. So this would become x squared plus 4x minus 45 is equal to 0. Now, we are going to get now the value of our a, b, and c. So, here our a is 1, our b is 4, and our c is negative 45. So, we are going to use quadratic formula. Let's substitute. So, x is equal to negative times 4 plus minus the square root of 4 squared minus a is 1 and c is negative 45 divide everything by 2 times a which is 1 okay x is equal to negative 4 plus minus the square root of 16 minus 4 and 1 times negative 45 that is negative 45 divided by 2 so, x is equal to negative 4 plus minus square root of 16. What is negative 4 times negative 45? That is equivalent to 180 divided by 2. Let's simplify the radicand inside. So, let's have x is equal to negative 4 plus minus 16 plus 180. That is 196 divide everything by 2 okay x is equal to negative 4 plus minus what is square root of 196 that is 14 so divide everything by 2 now let's separate the plus and the minus so that would give us x is equal to negative 4 plus 14 over 2 and negative 4 minus 14 over 2 so simplify further this would become negative 4 plus 14 that is 10 over 2 and what is 10 over 2 it's 5 okay negative 4 minus 14 that is negative 18 over 2 and that would give us negative 9 so the roots of our quadratic equation is 5 and negative 9 9. Okay, let's proceed to our example number 4. So here on our example number 4, x plus 3 is equal to 3 over x. It's not written in standard form or we need to rewrite first the equation. So what we are going to do first is to multiply both sides by x. Okay, then we are going to distribute the x inside. So this would become x times x is yes, x squared then x times 3s plus 3x then we can cancel this leaving us 3 then we are going to rewrite this into standard form so this would become x squared plus 3x minus 3 is equal to 0 now we can get the a b and c so our a here is 1 our b is 3 and our constant is negative 3 Applying the quadratic formula, so x is equal to a negative 3 plus minus, again 3 squared minus 4 times 1 
times negative 3, divide everything by 2 times 1. Okay, let's simplify. This is negative 3 plus minus the square root of 9 minus 4. 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. Divide everything by 2. Okay, x is equal to negative 3 plus minus the square root of 9. Negative 4 times negative 3, that is equivalent to 12. Divide everything by 2. So, x is equal to negative 3 plus minus and 9 plus, 20 plus 12, that would give a square root of 21 over 2. Okay, x is equal to negative 3 plus square root of 21 over 2 since we cannot extract the square root of 21. So, the other one is x is equal to negative 3 minus square root of 21 over 2. Okay, let's have the next example. 7x squared minus 12. 12x is equal to negative 3 plus 10x. Okay, now let's have or rewrite first the equation into standard form. So this would become 7x squared. And if you have noticed, we have here like terms. So negative 12 and 10x. So we are going to combine like terms. So negative 12x minus 10x. So this would give us negative 22x. Then we are going to transpose the negative 3 to the other side. So we will have plus 3 is equal to 0. Now let's have our a which is 7 our b which is negative 22 and our constant which is 3. Now let's have the quadratic formula. So x is equal to negative, our b is negative 22, so negative times negative 22 plus minus the square root of negative 22 squared minus 4. Our a is 7 and our constant is 3. Divide everything by 2 times 7 x is equal to negative times negative 22, that is 22, plus minus, and negative 22 squared, that is 484, minus 4, 7 times 3, it's 21. Divide everything by 14. Okay, simplify further, x is equal to 22 plus, plus minus, square root of 484, and negative 4 times 21, that is 84. Divide everything by 14. So, x is equal to 22 plus minus 484 minus 84, leaving us square root of 400. Divide everything by 14. So, we will have x is equal to 22 plus minus square root of 400, that is 20, over 14. So we are going to separate this. So uh, we will have x is equal to 22 plus 20 over 14 and 22 minus 20 over 14. Simplify further, we will have 22 plus 20, it's 42 over 14. And 42 over 14, x is equal to 3. On the other side, we have 22 minus 20, it's 2 over 14 and 2 over 14 simplifying further x is equal to 1 over 7 so the roots of our quadratic equations are 3 and 1 over 7 so that's all for today thank you so much grade 9